Project. Uh, joining us right now from uh, South Carolina is Pastor Mark Burns. Uh, Pastor Burns, yesterday you uh, uh, want to talk Donald Trump. You also posted this cartoon yesterday uh, depicting Hillary Clinton in blackface. Uh, got lots of reaction all across social media. Uh, it says, uh, uh, if the police, who actually has uh, language there, no hot sauce, no peace, Hillary 2016. Um, what say you about the criticism of that cartoon? Well, first of all, Roland, thank you for having me on your show. Um, again, it's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, just to be honest with you, in hindsight, if I would have, uh, I don't think I've used the best judgment uh, in utilizing that picture. And I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm taking a step back because I still stand behind the message uh, that that picture represent, but I uh, obviously I offended so many people, and the blackface uh, is offensive. Um, so I erroneously, when I posted it, and of course I didn't make it. It was uh, already on Twitter. It was already on social media. Um, but I really uh, wanted to. Uh, I thought the picture represented uh, the message that, the, that that stated blacks have been used by the Democratic Party, um, and that we. In, a many, in many cases are not operating at the same level that other ethnic groups are in this country. And yet we've been voting in mass. And yes, we have progressed a lot. We have, uh, we've gained a lot, um, but we're still not moving at the same speed that other ethnic groups are in this country. And I believe the, 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 the voting block of the, of, of the African American community is already it already belongs at least in the minds of the Democrats already belong to uh, the Democratic Party. But Pastor Burns, but Pastor believe, Burns, I'm of the opinion that we should make the Democrats fight for our votes. I want to go back to uh, our interview with Pastor Mark Burns. We lost the satellite there, uh, and so we now have him on the phone. Uh, so Pastor Burns, uh, as we were talking, um, for your apology. Um, was this uh, asked for by the Trump campaign, or did you make it on your own uh, accord? Absolutely not asked uh, by the campaign, um, not at all. Um, I, Roland, I, I'm a pastor, um, contrary to some maybe in the public, uh, you know, general public may not believe, but I truly love people. Um, I truly believe that when, um, when there's an offense that is done, uh, even though if it was not even intentional, um, if there's an offense done, I believe it's our biblical obligation to uh, to offer the apology. Um, and so, again, I, I, I truly apologize for the offensive blackface image of, of that cartoon and the um, uh, the depiction of um, um, uh, the blackface is offensive uh, by itself. And um, as an African American man in America. Um, I, I, I don't I don't stand by uh, anyone portraying themselves in a black face, but the message um, that I intended, um, I still stand behind. Uh, but my apology is because I think my message got lost uh, in, in the in the translation um, of the of the uh, the methodology begin to overshadow the message. Um, and so I, I don't stand behind the methodology. So obviously, in hindsight, if I could do it again, I would still get the message out there, but use a different methodology. You, you made a point about Democrats and uh, them taking the black vote for granted. But here's the reality. Republicans have not made a consistent effort uh, to actually go after the black vote. There are examples of Republicans Absolutely. who have done that. George Vinovich, the late George Vinovich, who was, of course, the mayor of Cleveland, governor of Ohio, who was a U.S. senator from Ohio, sat down with, worked with, communicated with, partnered with. And, you know, when he ran for the U.S. Senate, got something around 40 percent of the black vote. So, we, so I think one of the mistakes that Republicans make, whether they're black or white, is to somehow uh, put it on black folks as if black folks are dumb as if we don't make smart choices as if we're not making informed choices black folks are making informed choices and that is when one party routinely ignores them then where else are you going to turn to well you know i 100 percent agree with you roland um that the republican party in mass has not um really um many of the policies that uh, the republican party in in, in general um, has not been, um, you know, designed, uh, you know, for or specifically for African Americans in this community, um, and in general, the Republican Party. Um, not saying that all Republican candidates, but in mass, the Republican Party. 
um, has not went after uh, the African-American vote as the Democratic Party has done. And I do agree with you um, that, um, and, and, and large partly, it's almost as though that the between the two parties, you, you, you're not really giving the African-American um, community a, a choice um, to, to decide because you're going to support the party that you feel um, that has policies that are related to your community. Uh, the, the problem with that is is that the policies um, within the Democratic Party is, is it is color specific uh, or race specific, but it it's not creating the wealth and prosperity as a group um, as it should be. But but here's the deal. But here's the deal, that. though. I mean, look, I, I, I look, I, I get that point. But again, uh, it's a lot of broke white folks in this country as well who also keep voting for Republicans. Uh, and so let's not act as if all of a sudden, uh, you know, black folks are, are voting for Democrat. Uh, again, last question uh, for you. Trump is sitting down uh, with uh, this pastor in Detroit uh, on uh, Sunday. Excuse me, on Saturday. And so my question is, when is Donald Trump actually going to sit down with black journalists, folks who actually cover these issues on a daily basis, uh, to take those questions? Well, you know, I believe, um, as I said to you before, um, as we gather up a plan, um, I do believe uh, there's a time um, uh, for everything. And I, and I believe... Uh, and then we got about sure 70 time. days... I think it's like 69 days left before the election. So uh, time is kind of running out. I mean. All right. Well, Pastor Mark Burns, uh, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, Sorry we had the technical difficulties, but certainly thank you uh, for joining us right here. uh, News 1 on TV 1. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News 1 Now with Roland Martin every weekday morning at 7 on TV 1.